Hello everybody, AJ Snurdle here, and today I'm going to show you guys um, in a bit more detail my LEGO Technic M1117 Military ASV. Um, so we're just going to go over in more detail some of the functions of this model, and then after I do that, I'm going to take off all this black detail, the body, and uh, we're going to look at its guts. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. Um, at the end, I, I will have an update because I have some stuff coming up in the future that you guys might be interested in. Um, yeah, and feel free to subscribe. It, I really appreciate it, and it helps out a lot. Also, um, I have a broken finger, my right index finger, this one. Uh, you can't really see any bruising, but um, yeah, it's broken, just a little bone in the, um, what's it called, in the joint. Uh, yeah, so if I'm holding it kind of oddly, then uh, that's the reason. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so uh, let's jump into things. So let's start with the battery box. It's pretty easily accessible. It's up here in the front right here, and it's just you just turn it on. It's a not the rechargeable battery box, but the, yeah, so it's not the LiPo, but the other one that takes the AAAs. So um, now that it's on... We have the two receivers right here in the back, and then we have our remote. So let's start off with some of the simple stuff. We have a turret. It turns and spins. That's pretty much its only function. Um, it does have these for detail, and that's what it does look like it has. I forget all the dimensions of these things, so this is, you know, a turret. I think this is a 9mm. Maybe this is 9mm, and this is a, this is a grenade launcher. This is a 9mm. And then these are our countermeasure smoke deployment thingies. I don't know exactly. I didn't do that much research research on the weapons, but um, yeah. So a working turret. It spins full 360 degrees. Nothing too fancy. Just stuck it on a turntable, and it's powered by one M motor. Like you would assume, pretty much all of my models are four-wheel drive, and this one is. But um, this one has a two-speed gearbox in it which is um, Surreal's creation. I'll give a link to Surreal if you don't know who he is already, which I, um, wouldn't be good. Oh, hold on, let me, I have this uh, paper that I use to, cause it just, it looks nice. It's not actually photography paper, but um, yeah, I just needed to hold it down while I flip this over. So um, we're gonna look at, okay, there we go. So. Um, that's what it looks like underneath. We have um, the gearbox is right above this. So um, this is the output gear into the drive. Then you have your front and rear axles. This is steered, not steered. So, um, oh, oh, yes, I'm sorry. There we go. So um, this is the fast gear. I don't know the exact ratio, but um, if you look at Surreal's gearbox, it's one of these 20 tooth gears and one of the What's the, the small black ones? I can't remember exactly how many teeth they have. One of these little ones that are in there. And then um, it just switches back and forth. So if you want to look, I'll give a link to the gearbox itself in the description so you can look at it. Um, but yeah, it has the two-speed gearbox, goes to this output gear, and then that goes into the uh, axles where it's geared down. Like one to three, and then one to three, and one to three. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the drive. Really simple. There's the fast speed, and then you can see the motors moving at slow speed. And it's powered by two XL motors, so um, it has a lot of torque. I was really satisfied with this model. And then I'm um, steering. Really simple. Nothing fancy. I originally intended to use the um, the servo motor, but when I attached it, it wasn't strong enough to move under the model's weight because it's pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, let's tear it apart I guess okay so before I tear it apart I want to show you guys how much it weighs so um, I just put the I actually I got a launch pad just so you guys know and I'll talk about that at the end of the video but um so we're gonna put it on here so it weighs three pounds 15 ounces almost 15 ounces if you can see that that's here let me zoom in that is um Pretty close, four pounds. It's one of my heavier models. It's pretty. It's a lot of weight for you guys. 
Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, three pounds. So almost four pounds. Very heavy. One of my heaviest models that I've ever made. Um, yeah, so um, I'll go over the launch pad at the end of the video during the update. But um, let's tear this thing apart. Okay, so um, now that we're done with that, let's um, well, let's just jump right into it. So we have this is our turret right here, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's um, the M motor is right there, and it goes into the twenty tooth gear, and I, f I can't remember how many teeth this gear has. It's whatever, anyways. And then these two gears up into this little eight tooth gear right here and then um, onto the turntable the inner gear of the turntable I was I wanted to do something like that that way um actually not as many gears moving but um yeah I don't know if it's that um, gearbox or battery box my apologies battery box attaches right there and then runs back here I had to put an extension on it because it couldn't quite reach back to both of the receivers but, um, so the receivers, this is, I don't know, that's all the arrangements, crazy wires, um, so here's our two drive motors, and then that linear actuator right there, little one, sorry, I'm holding my microphone right now, that little one, um, is powered by an M motor, just underneath of those wires, um, here, let's see it move, and grab the controller, yeah, turn it on, so, Raise the camera up. Alrighty. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. So that is our high gear, and then our low gear. Um, so there's that. Um, I mean, that's really pretty much it. And it was very small. There's, oh, let me zoom out. There's um, a lot of space in there, as you can see, especially on the sides right here. Um, it just, it was big. The body was big, and I had to keep it in scale. Um, I'll have a, a big write-up in the description of a lot more um, detailed information, like the scale and how I got the scale. Um, if you need help of finding the scale of a model, um, check out Surreal's website. I'll put it in the description. He's very helpful. He has a lot of good um, information. He's a model scaler. I have his book, and I just use the information in his book to find the scale of this. But um, the scale was about 1 to 12 because um, Lego tires, these are 12 studs. And then the actual tires were 48 inches, so that made the conversions a lot easier. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, this is the last you're going to see of this thing because um, I'm going to take it apart and build my next creation, which I'll be talking about next, along with an update. Okay, so update time. Um, so what I'm going to do for my next truck is I'm, I'm going to build a 6x6 six six truck, um, a front axle, and then two rear axles. So kind of like a semi, but for off-roading. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to I'm going to make a video every time I make substantial progress. Like, um, this is just an idea for a um, front axle for it. It's got steering and everything. But um, every time I make substantial progress, I'll make a video and I'll walk through it with you guys almost as, almost like a tutorial. So, and then if there's anything you guys would like to see on the truck, you can make a comment and I'll see what I can do about it. So this is kind of, I'd like to do this as an interactive thing between you guys and me. Um, also, I just got a launch pad, as you guys can see. Let me grab it. 
Um, so I will be making some launch pad videos in the future. So I have this bad boy. I've been messing around with it for about, let's see, since February and it's July now, four months or so. Um, and it's difficult. I've been, I've downloaded a lot of So Nevables stuff and uh, been practicing, but it's hard. So um, uh, my outro song is actually a song that I created it's just the beginning of it, but I wanted to um, have something as an outro. So, um, yeah, I use that. I, I'm using Ableton Live, just whatever came with this, because um, this was $180, and then it came with um, Ableton Live Lite. So, uh, yeah, I just used that, and I've been messing around with producing music, so I might start getting into that. And um, definitely DJing, but I have some, I have a trip, a two-week trip, on Thursday, so um, I won't be uploading for probably the next three weeks, but um, expect a video about my next truck coming out within the next three weeks, closer to the end of three weeks, and um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and if you guys want to hear like a certain style of music maybe come from me producing, or if you have any ideas for a mix, or for my truck, my next truck, p please feel free to leave a comment in the description. I would very much appreciate it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.